Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down some Naya Slivers. We've lost the die roll for like the third time this week. Pretty sucky. We're going up against A. a Ron. If you get that reference, leave a like. Uh, look at this hand. Look at this hand. Oh, boy. Um, mm, can't keep this. Can't get greedy. I can't get greedy like I did last time. If this was a Plains, I would play it 100%. Uh, but it is not. And Bladeback is not going to do a ton. Yeah, I, I can't keep this. You know, I got greedy with the one lander last episode. I was punished for it. Can't get greedy this time. I just can't. This this deck is unforgiving with, uh, with that kind of stuff. Look at that. We get rewarded. We get absolutely rewarded. Excellent. Keep. Dump the blade. Done. Alright, so. Up against a forest. Uh-oh, Bogles. Uh-oh. This is a hard matchup. This is a hard matchup. Uh, let's go Sidewinder. And pass. It's going to be tough. Not going to lie. Could have another loss this week. I don't want to jinx it. How's my hair? Look good? It's a mess right now. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Utopia Sprawl. All right. Um, okay. So, you a little stuck on mana? Might not be too bad for us. Gives us a second. Oh, we get a blade back. All right. Um, yeah, I think we're going to want to put this out. I don't think we can really dump our hand uh, efficiently here. We'll take a turn off to really get a board state going. We're getting our board right. They're getting their mana right. May see ethereal armor here. It's usually like one of the first things they throw on. They're playing a little bit slow too. What card is this? Who is that? Ethereal armor rancor. That'd be a pretty nasty combo. Oh, abundant growth. Okay, abundant growth. Rank, uh, ethereal armor. Yeah. No. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm going to start attacking in now. I would love to be able to, like, just dump all our lords, but I think it's important to start getting damage on board now at this point. Six damage is a lot. And if they're really getting screwed we might be able to get a win with like poisonous potentially as long as they don't play anything too crazy surprising they didn't play anything else their hand is just very awkward that one land hand What are you gonna do? They're in a very awkward sp spot, aren't they? All right, another creature. That's good. That's a good sign, actually. Oh boy, they are in rough shape. Okay, we're gonna take advantage of this. That is that is not what you want to see from Bogles, not at all. We're just gonna be outpacing them now. Majorly outpacing them. Two life, and we'll go to game two. Yep, they got a little mana screwed, that's for sure. 
Uh, so what do we got for this deck? Uh, Standard Bearer is great. Uh, Gleeful Sabotage is fantastic. I think that's all we need. Actually, Electricery is pretty dang good, too. But what do we cut? A Striking? A hunt? Mm, no, I kind of want one Hunter in there. That's good. Too fast for Blade back, I'm pretty sure. So we'll cut a Winding. What else do we cut here? We could cut one Sidewinder. Yeah, that seems reasonable. Because... Yeah, that's it's not going to make too much of a difference. Alright, just give me a good hand. <clears throat> Let's just tempo him out. Uh, yeah, uh, I can dig this. We got a Gleeful Sabotage. We got a Sidewinder into a Muscle. We got an Ash Baron so we can play Hunter. I dig it. I dig it. Might actually... Now, I'll get Sidewinder out first. Just think about, like, Ash Bearing first for a Mountain. Just so we can get Hunter online early. So we can make him Chump Block. Because that's actually pretty big if we can do that. Before they get any enchantments on their stuff, just make them Chump Block our creatures. And just, if they don't have creatures, they're just dead. We'll see what they do, though. See how they run this. Land, same same play as last time. Okay. We're actually going to be doing the same play too. Sinew. All right, we're getting lords. We're, we're getting some good stuff. I can appreciate what's happening here. Pretty confident with the hand right now, actually. Kind of want like one more land so we can uh, Ash Barons and get that mountain. I mean, I'm. Can I block this? Did I pass through the block phase? I did, didn't I? Oh, uh, why did I do that? That's a mistake. I should just jump block that 100%. Because we are not trying to race really here at all. Gem hide. Gem hide would be good if we could like play another thing. So I think I'm gonna play a sinew, get in for some damage, then we'll gem hide, put out hunter, hopefully get a chump block. That was bad though. I should just made that trade and I didn't. That was really bad. I just clicked through the block step. That's an easy chump block. Easy chump block. <clears throat> That's a bit unfortunate. We're still going to sacrifice the Sidewinder to get him to provoke with the Sidewinder. Are they stuck again? Do I just do this? No. I'm not going to do this. If they're stuck, then we do the same play and we don't have to lose a Lord. We can just use the Sidewinder. Lose the Sidewinder. Utopia Sprawl. Okay. They're getting their mana right. We took some life. I think I'm pretty happy with what we're about to do, though. Hopefully we're taking away the last of their creatures. They'll get back Rancor, but if they don't have anything to play it on, then they're not in great shape. Oh, they have Hexproof, so I can't do this anyways. Alright, so I should have just lorded. I'm such a dummy. Hunter Sliver has to target. <laughs> Hunter Sliver has the target, guys. Oh my gosh. These dumb mistakes are going to cost me, man. That is so sucky of me. <laughs> so they can hit us for a lot this turn. 
See, that chump block was so important at the beginning, and I missed that block. I missed it. We still have a gleeful sabotage, so we can still go off with that if we need to. I can't believe I missed that block, and I can't believe I thought I could target with Hunter Sliver. I am a goof sometimes, guys, and I am sorry. They're still in rough shape, though. They're still in rough shape. That's just the way of it. They're doing this, though. So now I'm just going to block. Take one. Trade. They bring Rancor back. We're attacking in for a lot. Okay. Okay, okay. I don't know if they're misplaying or they're just having a struggle getting their lands right. We're both doing some weird stuff right now. You know, we really are. We're really doing some weird stuff. Uh... I feel bad that their mana screwed a little bit. They chose blue, which tells me they have their other creature in hand. Oh, what is this? I've never seen this before. As long as enchanted creature is green, it gets plus one, plus one, it has vigilance. As long as is blue, it has flying. Okay, that's that's kind of nice. It's kind of nice. I can I can see why you did that. They're still like dead to right, though. Like a hundred percent dead. Yeah. I was going to say, I mean, we're just going to Gleeful Sabotage end a turn and just kill their stuff and be done with it. So what was our draw? Electricery anyways. All right. Sorry, man. You got a little mana screwed. Uh, we made some pretty bad plays ourselves, though, so don't feel too bad. Uh, obviously, it should have been blocking way earlier instead of skipping through the blocks and maybe realizing I can't target hexproof things. But hey, there it is. Hope you guys enjoyed the match. Leave a like and a comment below if you did, and stay tuned for more nice livers. Please subscribe. Uh, I know a lot of you guys aren't subscribed to the channel that watch, so please do, and I would appreciate it. it helps me know that everybody's still enjoying the gameplay and everything. Uh, but yeah, until next time, we'll see you in the next video.